Hi guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. Super glad you decided to join today. And you guys, I'm really, really excited about today's video. Um, I'm gonna be starting this series called Throwback Thursday. And the concept is to do, I guess, like OG YouTube videos that a lot of people used to do back in the day and kind of bring them back or it will also be kind of a like makeup trends that used to be popular like in the 90s or early 2000s and it's going to be me putting my personal like modern day twist on them uh, those videos will be coming in the future. I'll probably do this series maybe once to twice a month. So I'm really, really excited to be doing this. Today, I am bringing back the what's in my purse video, which I'm super pumped about because again, it's an OG video. When's the last time you saw one? So without further ado, that is what we're going to get into. You guys, Buzz is in here. If you hear him snorting, that is what it is. It's not a pig. I swear you might think it's a pig. I think he's a pig, but it's my French bulldog. So if you hear him in the background, that is what's going on. Okay, you guys, so first things first, I'm gonna show you my purse. Um, right now, I am using the Louis Vuitton. This is the Speedy 30 and i i want to put a disclaimer right now where this is not me trying to brag about my louis vuitton purse i want every single person to know that i had to save my money for this purse it was definitely an investment purchase for me that i know i'm going to have forever and i also want you to know i did not buy this brand new i got it from a consignment shop um, it's called lemon tree goods they're in boston they're amazing i'll link their website below they have a lot of kind of like more high-end casual stuff um, it's a consignment shop so i just want to put that out there right now that i'm not trying to brag about my purse it's just i i love this purse i was looking for it for a long time um so let's Go ahead and get into it. So like I said, the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, I love it so much. You guys, I've not cleaned out my purse in a very long time, so it'll be interesting what we find in here. So I want to go through um, more of the inside of the purse before I actually pull out what is inside. So inside, um, you guys, it's a mess. It's very large on the inside, and then it has two pockets along the side here. Um, so it doesn't have a ton of internal pockets, but that's okay. I personally use a lot of um, little bags to keep my stuff in. So let's jump in and see what's in here. Again, you guys, it's she, she a hot mess. I have not cleaned it out in a very long time. So first things first. Super cute leopard mask. She cute, she leopard. I like her. Um, I got these from Old Navy. I believe you can get a pack of like five or 12 and they're pretty affordable and they're really comfortable. My husband likes these too. I got one also in solid colors and that's what he wears a lot. So really, I cannot recommend them enough. You guys, what, what world are we living in? We're recommending face masks. It's wild, you guys. <laughs> okay, next up is my wallet. I have a Henry Bendel wallet. It makes me so sad that Henry Bendel is not a thing anymore, you guys. Does anyone else love Gossip Girl and you remember Blair and Serena going and shopping at Henry Bendel? <sighs> you guys, just mm, love. But you open it up, it has just a bunch of card holders. It has a pocket here, a pocket here, and then the zipper for all of your change. Just a simple wallet. You can find, I'm sure, something very similar at Target or wherever you like to shop. Okay, I'm gonna go through the side pockets now. So in the first one, I have two <laughs> nail files. I get gel on my nails every four-ish weeks. So these are from my appointments. I keep these everywhere. I have one in my car, I have some in my purse, I have some downstairs in the kitchen on the coffee table because I'm that person where if I have an edge that lifts, I will pick it. And my nail tech will yell at me <laughs> about it. 
Not really, but I mean, she's, she's not happy when I do it, and I'm not happy when I do it. So I have these everywhere just to, you know, quickly file whatever needs done. Next up in the little pocket, I have hand sanitizer. This is just from um, CVS, almost out. I also have some uh, little Toms in here. I feel like I have a really sensitive stomach, so always, always keep those in my purse just in case. <sighs> this needs to be thrown away, you guys. That's so disgusting. Like, I don't even wanna show you. <laughs> um, this is one of my absolute favorite um, liquid lips from ColourPop. You can see the packaging is coming off. It's disgusting. I'm actually going to throw this away after this video because like I said, ew. Um, this is in the shade Strut. I love this so much. I actually, before I throw it away, I'm going to swatch it and I'm going to try to find some dupes for it on ColourPop's website because I adore this color. She's glorious. I have in that same pocket some little Dayquil tablets. I have those a lot as well. Oh, I, I also have a NyQuil tablet. I swear you guys, so much random crap. And in that same pocket, I have some mints. I love these so much, they're delicious. And minty, keep your breath fresh. So that's one pocket. I'm gonna go into the other pocket. Again, more hand sanitizer. This is the super old packaging from Bath & Body. It's almost gone. It's in the scent Mai Tai, which you guys, this smells so freaking good. It just, it's fruity and just sweet and perfect. I have a miniature lotion. This is the stress relief from Bath & Body. I took this from one of our hotel rooms that we stayed in last year. It's just a really nice little travel size to keep in my purse. I have the Dior Lip Glow. Um, I love this. I wear this pretty often actually, just for like a wash of color and it's a balm, so it's really comfortable. I usually put this on before I put my mask on because it's comfortable. And honestly, I wash my mask after I use them for the day, so I don't care if it gets on the mask. I also have a uh, just classic chapstick. A lot of the time if I'm hanging out with my friends, like if we go to their house, I will stick this in my pocket because I don't wanna lug my purse in everywhere. So that's really the, the big reason this is in here. And my husband likes to use it too. So just, you know, little 99 cents throw in there. Um, I have a packet of emergency. Um, you know, gotta get that immune supplement right now. No one wants to get COVID, even though I've already had it. Sucks, you guys, don't recommend it. Take your immune stuff. And I have a couple of, what are these, cards? Yeah, they're, so, yes, they're cards, Katie, Jesus. Um, one is just a Target gift card. I actually have no idea if anything is even left on this. I think it was fairly small, it was only like $5. I have my nail tech card in here, she's amazing. And then I also have a free polish change removal that she gave me for Christmas, which I'm probably gonna use today. I need to remember to use it. Um, I also have my work ID badge. You guys, my picture is from like five years ago. Look how skinny my face was. I have an earring <laughs> that I lost the back of, so I stuck it in my purse so I wouldn't lose it. I love these, they're from Nordstrom. I actually got these in the same pack, um, so it's just a gold hoop and then these are silver. I love them, I wear them all the time. Oh, there's the other one, yep. I've actually been looking for these, so it's good, th good thing I'm doing this video, you guys. I swear this happens all the time. If I just go th dig through all my crap in the house, I always find stuff that I forgot I had. Anyone else? I, I need to be better. <laughs> I have a, just one of those clear um, hair ties. And then again, <laughs> with the day quill, you guys. I have another little packet of day quill and I have some cough drops. Okay, so those are the side pockets, so I'm gonna get into the the meat of the purse, the depth of it. Let's see what I find. Okay, 
I have that little chapstick came in a pack of three, so I have the other two just hanging out in here. I honestly will probably keep them in here because again, if I lose one, then backups. I have um, my inhaler. I have a little bit of athletic induced asthma. So I usually keep this and I take it right before I work out. It just helps me not to cough so much. It's a real struggle, you guys, to try to be healthy. I have a couple of bars in here. So for a while I was doing the Optavia um, weight loss program. So these I have two Raisin Oat Cinnamon Crisp bars. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about the program. You guys can Google it if you want to know more about it. It just, it's a weight loss program. And then I also have a Built Bar, which is a protein bar. This is in the strawberry flavor. My husband and I love these, you guys. So if you're looking for some good protein bars, and these have, um, they're 17 grams of protein. They're usually between 100 and 150 calories. They taste like a candy bar. Like, so good. So if you're looking for a new protein bar, these, give them a try. I have a couple of pens in here, um, just generic black pen. This is actually a Licenza pen that says Girl Boss. I used to work for Licenza in the corporate office. And of course I have a Disney Cinderella pen that has a little like diamond on the top of it. I know, I don't care, I'm five years old. Love it, don't care, you guys. Again, with tummy medicine, I have a lot of medicine in here, you guys. I have um, just a sheet of the Chewy Pepto tablets. Again, sensitive stomach, I don't know why. I have an old <laughs> grocery list in here. I'm an old Starbucks gift card. I think this is actually zero, so I can throw this away now. A European wax center card. Um, this has my wax specialist's um, info on it. I go get a wax every single month, you guys. It hurts, but it hurts for like five minutes and then you're, you don't have any hair. It's great. I have an old receipt. Uh, what is this from? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this was from our Michigan road trip that we went on in uh, November, we stopped at Zender's in Frankenmuth, which has like the best fried chicken, you guys. It's so good. So a uh, little receipt. Definitely can throw that away. I have a couple of quarters at the bottom. Another hair tie. And then I have my little pouch that has, uh, most of it is lip products, but there's also some like little things in here that I just don't want to lose in the depth of my purse. Um, so this bag itself, I think is from Tarte. I think it came with like a gift set on QVC a while back. So first things first, tampon, you girls know, whatever. I have uh, some Advil in here. Always helps to, you know, have some Advil for headaches. <laughs> I stuck this in here over the summer and I have not taken it out. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's bug spray, you guys. Why? Why do I have this in my purse? I, I don't know. Just do. Have not taken it out yet. Gonna take it out now because it's the middle of winter. I don't need bug spray. I have some contact solution in there as well. I don't wear contacts a ton. I wear them for filming, obviously, because if I kept my glasses on, you guys would see the ring light and it's just annoying as crap to have that glare. So I wear contacts for filming, but typically every day if I'm not filming, I usually wear glasses. It's just more comfortable, but I do have this in my purse for those times I am wearing contacts. You never know when you'll need it. More hand sanitizer. <laughs> this is from Bath and Body Works. It's just the um, spray kind. This is the watermelon lemonade one. I really like it. I mean, do you, do you need to spend the money on it? No, but it smells good. So I do spend the money on it. Just like everyone else does. Everyone loves Bath and Body Works, you guys. I know I'm not alone. I have an EpiPen in here. I am really, really allergic to shrimp and shellfish. So I have this with me anytime we go out to eat. Actually, just I keep it in my purse full time because you never know when I will need it or even if there's someone else around me that might need it. I just, it's always in my purse for that reason. 
All right, the last <laughs> bit of stuff in here is all lip products. I have eight lip products in here, you guys, and that doesn't even include my Dior Glow Balm and my Chapstick, so I technically had 10 lip products in here. I have a problem. Okay, so I'll go through my NARS products first. I have the Velvet Lip Glide in Bound. You guys remember when like everyone was going balls over the shade? It's still beautiful, but like, do you remember when it came out and everyone was like, oh, go get it? I went and got it. I'm a sucker, you guys. I also have the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. Um, so this one is in Dulce Vita and this one is in Dance Fever. This one is a much smaller size. I think I got it as like a birthday gift from Sephora. I have a Huda Beauty, Huda, Huda Beauty <laughs> Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Alluring. I think this came in an Allure Beauty box, maybe. Um, it's a really pretty, um, it's like an orangey red shade. I don't know if I've ever actually worn it, but in case I want a bright lip when I'm on the go, this this stays in there. She, she lives in my purse, you guys. I have the Lux Liquid Lip from ColourPop. This is the uh, Disney Designer Collection. This is in the shade Prince Charming. Um, she's really pretty on the lips, kind of like your lips, but better, like a little brighter. Really pretty and really comfortable. I have a Dose of Colors lip gloss. This is in the shade Messy Bun. Again, my lip color, but better. She's beautiful and you guys, oh my God, it smells like vanilla cupcakes. So freaking good and I really love the formula. I would actually really love to buy more of these. I just haven't yet because do I need more lip products? No. Do I want them? Yes. <laughs> Okay, the last two things in here um, I'm obsessed with. I love them so, so much. So one is the Becca Glow Gloss. This is in Ruby Fire. I don't know if the shade is still available. I wanna say it came out with a Christmas collection a few years ago. But you guys, this is stunning on the lips because it's not like a bright red. It's just kind of like a red wash of color. And it's kind of sheer. It is so stinking pretty, you guys. I love this so, so much. The last and final thing in my purse, the last lip product, it is the Tower 28. Um, I think it, this is their Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade XOXO. This, you guys, if you have not tried it, go out and get one. I know they're expensive, they're like $20. I know, I get it. So comfortable, and just the little bit of color it gives, and it's so shiny. It just makes your lips look luscious and juicy, and just <clears throat> like, oh, I love this so much, you need to give it a shot. Okay, that is all I had. My little bag is empty, my purse, is it empty? I have a cat treat in my purse. You guys, what is the matter with me? My gosh. But other than that, it's empty. There's some change rolling around, but she's empty. So that is everything I had in my purse. I needed to do that for myself. It needed to be cleaned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing more of these Throwback Thursday videos. I'm really, really excited about it. So if you liked today's video, please give it a cheesy thumbs up. And if you want to join the little Jonesy fam, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of it. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it, I just appreciate that you were here. So thank you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.